So that's your name, yeah, so oh, to speak. Yeah. 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 That's the brand name. I'll, I'll tell you a story. Okay. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. My, my, my family name is, is Telegraphy. Yes, I know. Yeah. Right? And so uh, I used to see this doctor in New York and he said, well, how did you end up with that name? I said, well, the original name of my family is Tokati, right? There's a province in Turkey, it's called Tokat. Okay. Right? My great-great-grandfather, right, he left Tokat, he went to the Balkans as an emissary of the Sultan. And I still have the fermans, you know, the royal edicts that they were sent. Wow, I got two of them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and Abdullah Helmi Tokati, that was his name, right? He moved there, he built the first telegraph. He built the first telegraph. And they started just calling him telegraphy, telegraphy. So the doctor said, he was like, so you're lucky he didn't build the first toilet. Right? <laughs> And every time I would go see him for follow-ups, mm. this is like a yearly checkup thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, I went to see him, then he brought, he had an intern with him. He said, now tell him the story. I said, what story? <laughs> About your grandfather. <laughs> I told him the story. I was like, uh, so my grandfather, he came, he built the telegraph. He said, then he's like, imagine if he invented the condom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of imagines you could put in that story, actually. But yeah. rather than imagine any of yeah. those scenarios, yeah. I mean, I do feel, I do feel that 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 I had an enormous impact on oud appreciation in the West. Mm. Because when I started, people, you know, oud was anything that smells like socks, anything mm. that smells like, you know, manure, uh, excrement, vomit rotting things. It wasn't that appreciation. It wasn't, a, it was this bitter, nasty, you know, gooey business, which mm. is, yeah, that's oud. Mm. So nobody knew what oud was. Mm. What they had is they had this uh, French perfume house called Montau, right? And because he names everything oud this, oud that, like black oud, purple oud, pink oud, whatever, right? Montau is oud. So I said, wait a minute, oud is not, is not a spray perfume, right? Oud mm -hmm. is an essential oil yeah. from a certain species of tree mm. that is attacked by a certain virus, a certain mm. fungus, mm. and that produces this essential oil as a result mm. in, an, in an effort to heal itself, yeah. right? So we went into the, into the curly, twirly points of oud, you know, trying to perfect, trying to take the, to raise the bar, and as we sold more, then all, everything that everything else, I mean, like look at Tom Ford, we are there before him, right? Propagating, talking, you know, like uh, being like the ambassadors of oud, mm. real, real oud. I'm talking about, yeah, right? essential mm. oil yeah, of true. agarwood. Uh, Roger Dove, I saw an article, you know, uh, I was shown an article in England by some guy. He wanted to push my buttons. He said, I read this article in this magazine, Roger Dove is the man who brought Oud to the West. Sarcastically, there's an article about me, Ansar Oud, the man who brought Oud to the West. So he is sarcastically referring to that. And I'm like, Roger Dove was founded in like 2011 or 2012 or something like this, right? I, I, I started in 2004. 2004, yeah. And when I started, it's like, uh, Udimentary wasn't an Ud. There was no Udimentary. Mm. Okay, and these are, I mean, Usama, you know, may Allah give him Shifa and the best of health and restore him to Afia, Ya uh, He was not selling Ud when I started, right? Mm. So when I started diving into Ud in the West, right, and I started focusing and, and, and propounding it and, and, and you know, like uh, advertising it, people didn't know what Ud was. Mm. People didn't know what Ud was. They say, well, you're not the one who invented it. You're not the one who brought it, you know, like it existed before you. I mean, of course I'm not the one who invented it. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't create the No one invented it. No one invented it. It's a natural substance, right? Mm -hmm. But I did have, you know, a lot of things to say about the way that they were producing it. Mm -hmm. 
and as a result now distilleries all across Thailand are using are using ceramic barrels to soak their agar wood which I don't even condone soaking anyway but and that is even they will say this is due to Ansar right this is Thailand in this the homeland of agar wood right it's like so yes I mean a lot of people you know they you know social media Facebook people are aware of what I've been saying okay. they read my articles and they have implemented a lot of these uh, distillation philosophies that I have put forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very sorry, but, uh, you know, uh, Roger Dove didn't bring Ood to the West, nor did Tom Ford. Tom Ford called me one time. He had his okay. team calling us from New York. We had people calling from Los Angeles, from New York, Pennsylvania. It's like we were being almost like attacked <laughs> by these Tom Ford reps. They said, we're doing a, a, a new product release. This is around 2012, 2013. I don't remember exactly. 2012, let's say. We need to rent a piece of agar wood that we can feature in our photo shoot. I said, <laughs> you're doing a release, right? You're, you're releasing a product. Mm. You don't even have a single piece of agar wood to your name. And even now that you want to use one, you want to even not buy, you want to just rent it. <laughs> I mean, at least you show enough respect for the substance that you're making millions on just by using the name Oud, mm -hmm. without using any molecule of real Oud, right? And just buy one log, right? And what the stuff is all, is all black agar wood artificial from Javodan, right? It's all fake... Uh, Ood, you know, made by the mass uh, big uh, Swiss uh, uh, conglomerates, IFF, Javodan, I don't know, Fermanigan. What they're right. using. Of mean, course. Yeah. Even Roger Dove, mm -hmm. even Roger Dove, I visited the shop, this 1,500 pounds, pounds, mm -hmm. British pounds, that's more than $2,000 yeah. for one bottle, 30 ml bottle of juice. I don't know if it was EDP or extract or what it was, right? Black agarwood artificial inside the bottle. I can smell it. Mm. You can't fool me with oud, mm. right? Fake. Okay. What is it? It's a story. It's, it's, it's fake. I mean, mm. it's fake. It's fake. You, you have clearly pushed the wrong button with me with asking that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shows your passion and, uh, yeah. for, for, for oud and, the, and the, to reveal the honesty behind oud. Right. I mean, it came from the family name thing, right? You said, mm. well, how come they yeah, call you this, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. They called me Ansar Oud mm. for a reason, mm. because I didn't invent the condom, uh, I didn't build the first uh, toilet, yeah. I didn't build any telegraphs. Because you were the one that... Uh... I, I, if I think, I mean, we could try this if you want, right? We could try it. If we bring like a blade and we cut here, I think I think you might you run the risk of, of like Kinam like coming out. <laughs> I've eaten it. I've drank it. We're gonna make you drink it. <laughs> We're gonna make you drink eventually, mm. right? right? I've 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 slept with it. I've I've, I've you know I've, I've dreamt about it. I've, my my hair has turned gray because of it. It's like. Uh, it's, my, it's my passion. Oh, it's, my, it's my life. Mm. Agarwood is my life. So then, and so Agarwood is a perfect uh, name. Right? Yeah, I mean, unless you want to call me something else. No, I was just thinking that, uh, I was thinking to myself, is that if the perfume is a different thing without Oud, right? The perfume contains like Oud. Your number one contains more Oud than any, than any niche artisanal indie perfume that you can find in the world. Mm. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. Okay, so Eo staying one, true to your yeah, roots. Not, not, only, <laughs> not only does it contain more oud, mm. not only does it contain more oud, but it contains oud of a caliber that no one else has ever put in a spray perfume. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. One bottle I sell for $550. Mm. The equivalent of oud Suleiman III, mm. oud Musa, oud Khidr. But this is Nagaland, so I will say Suleiman III, Musa, Zakaria, oud Zakaria, right? These really funky but very beautiful, like feral Indian wild agar woods from, from Nagaland, which are just breathtakingly beautiful. And that's what you smell in EO number one, mm. the reworked Pure Parfum edition, which was just released. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh... Can I give you a swipe of that? 
Can I give you a spray? Well, uh, right on top of the uh, triangle teeth. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I think I would be uh, prejudiced against against, and I don't like to be prejudiced against anything. Right. You, know, you don't so want me to ruin your your. Not ruin. I just say that I don't want to be. I don't want to maybe, you know, like be prejudiced against that that particular spray. That perfume right? that ruined, that spoiled your That's, not trying LTV experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, that, and that make it actually. When I'm coming from a prejudicial uh, position. Right. I may not be as a, a objective as I should be. Right. So this is uh, just for our audience. Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm I'm honest and as honest as I can be. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm I'm admittedly prejudiced now after this. Uh, after not trying LTV. Yes, after, well, this was supposed to be a talk about the uh, Ud Extraordinaire. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs>